Hi guys, today we have a quick update on my project plan for this year. Um, I hope it's not a too long one. I did have already some successes and we actually start right away. So I finished the perfume, the Van Cleves and Arpels, the fairy one. This was a 30ml one. I did really enjoy it. Would I repurchase it? I'm not 100% sure because firstly I still have quite a few perfumes to go through. I think four in total, but um, also it's quite... It's quite a floral scent, which is probably good for winter time, but I don't think I would enjoy it as much in summer time. But it's a nice perfume. Then the next one, which is empty, is the 8-hour sleep cream. This is the ultimate sleep cream from, it's, I think it's own brand, Marks & Spencer's Formula Absolute. It was a 15ml one. Um, last time we had the mark here, and now it's just completely empty. I did enjoy this one. It was very nice. Then the next empty product is the Pure Correcting Primer. Um, this one was quite nice. It was the Illuminating Glow one, um, which has a bit of a sheen to it, like one of these pearly ones. Last time we had it here, and now it's completely empty. So I did use that every single day, which was quite nice. Then the next cream, as you can see, I really go th quickly through them. Um, Gatineau, oh my gosh, the name. Melatogenine um, Aox Probiotics Plus. Um, advanced rejuvenating cream. Um, it was a 15ml one. I cut it open. I liked it that much. Last time we had it here. Now it's completely empty. So very happy with that. Then some products I didn't touch much. Um, one was the Anna Sui lipstick. I think I only used it maybe five times. So not much progress unfortunately. Um, the star imprint which was on top is nearly gone. It's a nice lipstick, I like it, but I was focusing at the moment um, on another one, which you will see in a sec. Then didn't really touch it as, as well, um, actually didn't touch it at all. The Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot, I still don't know what that product is for. If I don't find out my next check-in, I probably will give it to someone or check it. Then I also didn't touch it at all, um, the Maybelline Superstay Primer. Um, so there is no change since last check-in. I have to tackle it now though, because the pure one is now empty. And I also didn't um, touch at all the Autograph Hydrating Confidence Boost Primer. So there's still the mark from last time. But again, I will touch it now as well because the Pure now is empty, so we can tackle the other primers. Then this was the lipstick I was focusing on. It's I was actually hoping it's done, but it's not yet. Um, this is the one um, from Burberry, color 05, nude pink. Yeah, nude pink. Um, it's lovely, and we're nearly done, as you can see. So I give it another week, maybe one and a half weeks, and then it should be definitely gone. Very nice lipstick, I like it. But I have a lot of other nice ones. Oops. Then definitely big progress on this Burberry product. This one is the foundation number two. Um, it's just a sheer powder foundation. And as you can see, we actually hit pan. So last time um, in the check-in, I literally just started using the foundation and um, we're now hitting already pan big time. Um, what I do at the moment is I like to use a sponge and dab the foundation, press it in my face and then sometimes with a brush in the end um, I lightly dust over my face again. So it's a nice foundation, gladly it lost a lot of the really perfumey smell it had in the beginning which I didn't like at all. So I enjoy it now a bit more to actually use it. It still has a sponge on the bottom which I don't use though. Nice! And this one, I think even when it's empty, I probably will keep too compact and because I have a broken foundation somewhere else in and not as nice compact and I probably will just repress it into this one. Then the next product which I use since I started my project pan is my eyeshadow. Um, I didn't hit pan yet. It's the only one I solely use. It's from e.l.f. This one is called Neutral Nudes and I absolutely love them. They're so beautiful they're so blendable and they're so pigmented it's just incredible which is why I probably didn't have pan yet because I literally use them every single day and they're just so good maybe to show I swipe once and there we have a beautiful sheen I really like that and even the darker one I really like it it doesn't come up as nice on camera but actually on the eye they just look so good and they're really blendable so I really enjoy them but I'm still glad when I pan them because I have a lot of quads and quints which literally look exactly like this unfortunately I buy a lot of the same colors so 
I'm definitely happy to let go of this one, but it is a beautiful one, so I'm very happy actually using that one. I might have to switch it up before the next check-in, because um, I might want to use some other colors. But then again, most of my quilts anyway look like that. Then the next product, where I can definitely see a progress, is the Pinch Me. Um, this is the blush from Siate. I very much like it. Um, it's getting really down now on pen, as you can see. I think I need to change my brush stroke direction because on one side it's still quite high and on the other side it's getting really down. But I think I actually should hit pen on that one quite soon. I absolutely love this blush. It's beautiful and I love the fact um, it has a bit of a sheen to it. So it has like a swirl of a bit of highlighter in there. And it's just such a nice blush. Absolutely love it. And the packaging is super cute. Um, this product I used a bit, but not as much, but I think you can see a dip now in it. There it is, and there's my little dip. This is actually meant to be a highlighter, the Chameleon Highlighter, Mother of Pearl from Topshop, but I actually use it on my eyes. I use it as a bit of an eye topper. And this one is just beautiful. It is actually better. There we go. I mean, this is just stunning. It is actually better to use that one um, with your fingers and um, press it on because if you use a brush it just doesn't translate as nicely on the skin I actually can show you let's take a brush so there we have one it still comes up but there's definitely much more sheen when you use your finger but that is normal when you have these glittery ones so I definitely use it um, on my eyes do not use it as a highlight it's just a bit too much for me as a highlighter um, this one, unfortunately, I didn't use at all um, because I used the other shimmery one, or well, the highlighter from Topshop. This is from Anna Sui, the multi glitter. Didn't use it at all. Um, not much progress there for well, no progress at all on that one. I do like it though, it's a nice product. And I also completely um, stopped using um, the CRT. This was in the advent calendar. This is the bamboo bronzer. And I just stopped using it since the last check-in because, um, yeah, it hit hard pen. So it literally sealed over and it was just so annoying. I think what I need to do is I need to sit down, get the product out and repress it to make it usable again. And that mini pen is just so annoying for bronzer as well. So maybe when one of my bigger pens is empty, um, I repress it in these ones in the middle because it's still a nice bronzer. It's just Un unusable in this format at the moment and I don't think to be honest that there's much product left in there it was 2.2 gram and I don't know if you can see but actually if you look at it the pan dips quite a lot so I guess let me see what I can do until next check in with that one because I wouldn't mind um, doing something with it then mascara still use the Kiko Milano one um, I did use a bit more. This one is um, an e.l.f. lipstick. It's called Tea Rose. I like it very much. Whoopsie. Bit wobbly. There we are. Um, as you can see, so this is completely retracted. Um, didn't change that much. I would say I used up that much. Because before when it was retracted, it looked like this. And now it looks like this. So, yeah. I like the color I have to use. Actually, let me swatch it so you can see. It's like a very nice mauve color. I did use it a few times, but again, um, I was focusing on the Burberry one. What I actually did some of the days, I used this one as a base, because the Burberry lipstick is quite sheer. And I used this one for the color underneath. Did not use my lip pencil at all. This is the creamy color. Comfort lip liner from Kiko Milano didn't use it at all purely because it didn't fit it um, to the lipstick and to be honest that's the only lip pencil I have I don't have any other lip pencils I don't really use them I used the eyebrow pencil this is from the Claudia Schiffer collection the eyebrow styler I use it nearly every single day and to be honest not much product is gone so before when it was retracted it was like this and now it's like this that's all so there's still a lot of product left so to be honest I think this one brow pencil might actually last me all year I must say though I don't use too much product when it comes to my brows I have quite fair brows and they are not very big but I just like a natural brow look when it comes to that did not use at all this one um, 
I really like the color. I just didn't go to use it because I was so focused on the elf one. This is the eyeshadow shimmer from Organic Glam. This is like um, a nice glittery green. And I did not use at all the elf eyeshadow primer. So to be honest, I might chuck it out soon because I'm not the biggest fan of it. And I was thinking always, oh, maybe I keep it in case I'm getting really adventurous and do like a cut crease like Nikki Tutorials. But in the end of the day, I never do it. So, nah. Oh, actually, there's one more product we forgot. Need to mark it. Um, this is my concealer. This is the one from Asta. I'm using it at the moment. I used it most days. And actually, we have a progress because this was last check-in. I need to let it settle, actually. But as you can see, it went now down here. So that's roughly here. So I will put a mark on that one for next time and there's definitely progress, so that's nice. I need to let it settle though, I completely forgot about it. So yeah, very happy overall and especially happy about the empty products, which is why I also will add two new products. Um, I will add this one. This is the um, Bee Beep Cream from Bio Aqua. I actually started to use it last week. Um, last week it was completely on the bottom and now we are already here, so I will put a mark on that after I filmed that. Um, before I started using it, these bubbles were spread really evenly, but now I started to use it, the gel is getting sucked in on the top and you can see how these bubbles now slowly move to the center. This is actually quite fascinating to watch. I do like it. Um, it's a very light gel formula. Um, it's a very light BB cream. It literally gives next to no coverage. I started using it because I'm still focusing on the powder foundations, the Beverly one. So this is actually quite a nice base for it because it also means um, I don't have to use any heavy foundation underneath. And because the perfume was empty, I started to use last week this one. Um, this is the Ted Baker body spray. And to be honest, this one was full when I started using it last week and we are already um, yeah, halfway through. It's a body spray though, so it's not as heavily from the scent like a perfume and you can use it quite liberally everywhere. So I do like it though. It's um, quite an, a nice fresh floral scent. Would I buy it? To be honest, I'm happy when it's empty. It's not entirely my taste, but it's quite a small one and it's, it's not an offensive smell. I like to use it though. So hopefully by next check-in that should be already empty. So yeah. That's about it for me already. As you can see, um, still working on it, but good corner with products already empty, so very happy about that. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and let me you know your experience with Project Pen 2018. I would love to hear about it. Bye bye.